Hi guys, today I'm here to do a book tag, which is the Tis the Season book tag. And I thought this would be fun, it's almost Christmas time, and Christmas is my favorite holiday, and I just haven't done a tag in a while, so I thought this would be fun. Um, there's only seven questions, it's super simple, super easy. Um, please excuse me if I sound kind of bad, or if I have to like get up and go get a tissue. I'm sick, and uh, I don't know if I have like a cold, or if I have actual like allergies, I'm not sure. It's kind of like my throat and my nose and my head and just everything. So sorry about that ahead of time. But yeah, there's just seven questions, so let's begin. Question number one, do you have a favorite winter read? So I don't have like a specific book that I read every winter or something. It does seem like most winters I am like rereading the Harry Potter series or if not the whole series like at least the first book so I guess you could say um, the first Harry Potter book which I am actually currently rereading that because I borrowed the illustrated copy um, from my library it came out in October and I still don't own it yet I'm asking for it for Christmas but um, for this I decided to pick something a little different I decided to pick the Chronicles of Narnia um, more specifically the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and this is like the big bind up of that um, but uh, yeah, this makes me definitely think about Christmas and winter and all of that. But if you have read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, you know that whenever um, Lucy and Peter and Edmund and Susan all go through the wardrobe into Narnia, it's like the never-ending winter, and it's not Christmas, though. And um, anyways, I just, I think of this around this time of the year, I think of all the snow and everything. Maybe I'll reread that series, because it's been so many years, I guarantee it's been over 10 years. Um, since I've read that series. I don't know, maybe I'll read them in January or at least like The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and then maybe I'll do some reviews for them if you guys would like that. Question number two is find a book with blue on the cover and... Oh, I'm wearing blue. Um, and I chose A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. It's all blue and this is also appropriate because all the snow and winter is coming. I'm so creative. I've just, look at me. The next question is find a book you'd use as the star on a Christmas tree. And I, I guess this could be kind of like done in different ways. I'm going to go with Clockwork Princess um, by Cassandra Clare because it's so shiny and so pretty, I think. And also one of my favorites. You guys know I like to reread my favorites never gone back and reread this series or this trilogy so maybe in 2016 I'll find time to do that because I love rereading favorites. Maybe I'll revisit Jim and Will and Tessa because I love them so much. Doesn't this look so good on this tree? Yeah, such a good star. Next question is to pick one fictional place that I think would be perfect for a winter vacation. Don't know if you're allowed to just vacation there but I'm gonna choose from Harry Potter, um, just like Hogsmeade or maybe like just the wizardy world if I'm allowed just to go to Hogwarts for a vacation. I think that'd be pretty cool. But it's all wintry and uh, this is just another one of those like wintry books that I know the whole book doesn't take place over the winter. It's actually like what the span of like a year because his like summer to kind of like the end of the school year. But um, yeah, so I would try my best to vacation like here or Narnia, I guess, but it's not, it's only like winter, I guess, in that first book because then the rest it's like summer all the time. So, you know, one of those. Next question is to pick a fictional character that I'd like to take with me on my winter vacation. And I thought about this and I've done a lot of book tags in the past three years on booktube and I feel like I choose a lot of the same fictional characters, a lot of my favorites and stuff. And I leave out one of my favorite fictional characters, and that's Samwise Gamgee. And I decide I'm going to take Sam with me, because Sam is my pal, and I love Sam. Frodo and Sam's friendship is one of my all-time favorite friendships that I've ever read in a book. And I just love Sam so much. That's Frodo. Um, there's not a picture of Sam on here. See, he doesn't even get a picture on the book. And he, like, if it wasn't for Sam, Frodo wouldn't have even gotten the ring to Mordor. So I'm just saying... Sam deserves this. I'm gonna take Sam with me to Hogsmeade or some like Hogwarts or something. They'll probably just think he's like a 
little dwarf or goblin or something, but he, you know, he'll, he'll fit in. He'll, he'll be fine. He'll have fun, I think. Question number six is name one book on your wish list this year. And whenever, and for my wish list, I had decided to ask for books that I've already read and loved, but that I just don't own yet. And so I have asked for, I already own The Demon King, which is book one in the series, but I have asked for at least the second book or maybe even the third and the fourth book in this series because it's one of my favorite fantasy series but I just don't own them and I think it's such a shame to look on my shelf and to not see them on my pretty shelves. So um, I did ask for this series for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I just I think I just decided to do that this year because all throughout the year I receive books I haven't read and then occasionally I'll buy books for myself I haven't read. So it's just kind of nice when you're actually like if someone asks, like, if someone wants to buy you a book or something, it's just kind of nice to get these books that you've been wanting to get, you know, books you love that you want to cherish on your shelves. So that's why I decided to do that this year. And then the last question is just more, like, for the holidays, sort of. Um, it says to name your favorite holiday drink, treat, and movie. I mean, my favorite holiday drink is probably eggnog, and I have so many friends that absolutely hate eggnog. Um, but I really, really like it. I actually have some in my fridge right now. But that's just around the holidays. I really like that. Treats, I mean any holiday treat, any sort of like Christmas cookie or anything like that is just delicious and my favorite. I love all the holiday baking. I've already been doing a little bit and it's just my favorite. And then a movie. Um, growing up as a kid, my favorite holiday movie was Noel and it was about this little ornament and I haven't seen it in years and years and years but it was so sad and so good and I loved it. Um, I also like like Rudolph and Frosty the Snowman and stuff. Now that I'm older I think my favorite might be like Elf or something more kind of funny like that. I love Elf. But that's it. So if you want to do this tag do it and then let me know in the comments that you did it um, and I'll put the questions in the description and stuff so you guys can answer these questions. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're excited for Christmas. You guys should let me know either your answers for this tag in the comments or maybe you could just let me know like your favorite winter read in the comments. Because um, it's really interesting how people, some people do have like specific favorite winter reads. Um, and uh, some people just kind of consider a winter read to be a book like set in a wintry environment like snowy but for some people it doesn't have to be like that it could just be a really good book that they like to cuddle next to a fire with or something so um anyways you guys should let me know in the comments i'm going to go um but i will see you very soon probably with a book review but for sure next wednesday with my um next video and i'm getting a new bookshelf three years ago jake built me this my really tall wooden bookshelf and I love it so much since then I have my two little short yellow ones and then I have two back here um, but he's building me another really big wooden one and he thinks he's gonna make it like seven feet tall this time and wider so I'm really excited about it and I think that I might do in the past you guys really were interested in like how I set up my shelves and everything so let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video again about that because if so I'm going to be moving my shelves around I'm going to be totally reorganizing them I'm really excited about that I'm not the only weirdo that really likes reorganizing my shelves but it's just been a really long time it's been many many months since they've and they've always looked the same so I'm getting tired of it I want to shift them around um but yeah let me know and I'll do that video um, so that will be in a couple weeks, but I will see you guys very soon. Bye!